All right, check one, two, ladies and gentlemen. I'm over here at Culmination Brewing here in Northeast Portland. First beer of the day is going to be the Fadrias IPA. And this is beautiful. Now, since I'm not a beer reviewer per se, I'm just a beer consumer. It looks great in color. I mean, if I had to compare it to something, I would compare it to, I was growing up, this guy had like a... Um, 87 Monte Carlo and he had the chameleon paint job on it but majority of the time when I saw the video the vehicle driving through the neighborhood it was like this burnt orange looking color on the vehicle so this beer is it's it's almost burnt orange like on a on a Monte Carlo and I like that and the head is white but it reminds me of Vogue tires on a Cadillac. You know where I'm going with this. I'm not, I don't know where the hell I'm going with this. Anyways, I took a sip of it because I'm sitting here fidgeting around with the camera trying to figure things out and see how to set the camera up because I have nice lighting out here, but they have these awesome shades to keep the sunlight off you. Um, so I've been tinkering around with that and I was like, God damn, my beer is getting warm. There's three beers I want to try today. One, two, and three. So this here IPA, they have a hazy version of this, and then they have another hazy IPA called Something Clouds. Uh, I don't know the name of it right now, but it was on my list. And since I don't have the iPad with me for notes and speaking points, uh, I'm stuck. So with that being said, I'm going to drink this, check a few emails, hang out, enjoy the day, and um, have fun. So, cheers. I bet you guys were wondering, hey, are you going to tell us how it tastes? Um, it tastes goddamn good. Really good. Um, so I'm enjoying this. Even after three total sips, I'm really enjoying it. So. Culmination brewing. Peace. All right. Check this. Check this out. I'm about to let you guys know I'm having, I don't want to say like a stressful day. I need to, you know, what I need to realize is I need to start wearing collared t-shirts because I have a microphone here that helps me because I bought this lens, this awesome lens, but for some odd reason, it affects the sound quality when I'm recording. So I figured, let me get a microphone lapel microphone to make things better to avoid spending 99 bucks to get the um gosh whatever microphone it is um i have products you can't think of them, impaired right now um but anyways at culmination brewing i am losing the battle today against light it's supposed to be 92 degrees today so that means perfect sunlight you should be able to see everything on my face and I like the fact that they have shades here. But it's not helping me out with my videos. I'm either having too much light or not enough light. So here in this video right here, decent light. At least you can see the beautiful color of this beer. Now, in the previous video that you will see, I had the uh, Fadrias, Fadrias American IPA. This right here is the hazy Cryo Padrias IPA. So you can see there's a big difference. Um, and if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, sorry. Um, but anyways, like I said, in the last video, I described that that beer to be a burnt orange color on a Monte Carlo. This right here is, this is like pineapple juice. So let me just say, um, the beer before was, it was, it was maybe like, a pineapple juice that was mixed with something else so you know how you have those variations of pineapple juices strawberry pineapple juice blueberry pineapple juice orange pineapple juice let's just say that was like an orange pineapple juice and this is straight pineapple juice like this is the type of beer right now that I am inclined to just 
chug it. And at 2 minutes and 27 seconds, I think that's what I'm going to do. Culmination Brewing is where I'm at today. Enjoying my day. Like I said, temperature is supposed to reach up to 92 degrees. And I'm having a great time. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Hazy Cryo Padrias IPA. For some odd reason, I think I'm screwing that name up. For some odd reason, I don't know. But anyways, you know what? Fuck it. Chug time. Hashtag CH4UG. Creating help for underprivileged groups. Ladies and gentlemen, this is important. This is extremely important. I created the acronym CHUG. To get the people in the craft beer community on board with finding a way to raise money for individuals a part of underprivileged groups. No matter your race. Doesn't matter your religion. Doesn't matter your gender. Your gender. If you are a part of a group that's underprivileged. I would like to help you. The people in the craft beer world would like to help you. And like I said, one chug at a time, camera, one chug at a time. Some way, somehow, we need to find a way to raise money for underprivileged groups. And that's why I started this initiative. So, with that being said, here we go. I'm feeling good. I'm going to take a quick sip. Taste my palate. Check my palate. See what it's like. And I think I might down this one. Man, that's delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Like my homeboy Freddie would say. Wow. Wow. Culmination Brewing. Check them out. If you're ever in the PDX, check them out. Peace. All right. All right. All right. All right. This here, this is three of three. So we had the Fadrias American IPA. We had the Hazy Cryo Fadrias IPA. And this here is called I'm giving you guys the F.U. finger. I, I apologize. This here is called Obscured by Clouds. And, oh my gosh. I mean. Uh, I can smell. That's tropical fruits right there. That's. It's like pineapple. You know what? Maybe mango. But you know what? It smells just like my beautiful wife. That's what it smells like. <laughs> so, um, where do I want to go with this video here? This is three of three. Beer three of three. Um, free agency. Do I, do I want to talk sports? Do I want to talk beer? Do I want to talk life? Um, let's talk life. My family and I are getting ready to go on a vacation. We're heading down to Central California visit some family, visit the godparents, enjoy ourselves, maybe take a day or two off because aunt will be, aunt will be around, uncle will be around, cousins will be around, uh, godparent, godsister, godbrothers, godfathers will be around. So that means me and my beautiful lady and I, we could just chill out, you know, find something to do. Do things that we don't always do when we're, when, when we're home in the PDX. So I look forward to that. Maybe hit a brewery or two. I mean, I don't want everything revolving around me drinking beer. I don't want people to know that I have a problem. But I'm looking forward to that. As far as sports, ah, oh man. Free agency period is sort of kind of wrapping up, you know. Most big moves are made between... July 1st 
and maybe the 6th or 7th. So like a week into July. That's when you get your most big moves. And then after that, it's just like, ah, whatever, whatever. Um, uh, I've been letting the big guys do what they need to do. And next week is when I'm going to hit the ground running with you heard it here first. I think my official podcast was done on like May 18th, 20th or something like that. So I like I took time off to enjoy the playoffs as a fan. I took the time between the end of the playoffs and free agency, free agency um, season off to enjoy it as a fan. And not be so into it like I was last year when I was potting with my homeboy Jared. So with that being said, expect a lot of information, sports information to come within the next couple of weeks. as Along with beer information as well. So me a lot of beer information. This is summertime. So there's going to be beer information happening, I would say. You know, living in California, I would consider California at the time the best beer state in America now being here in Oregon Oregon number one in my opinion California is still number two being from Michigan Michigan is number three when we go cities cities Portland gotta be number one and living in California for 10 years living in San Diego for 10 years being able to get to Los Angeles within uh, and I want to have Portland is just taking over when it comes to breweries per capita, being able to get to a brewery in, in like minutes, Portland rules that. And then, you know, you have your San Diego. Some people may say Los Angeles. Some folks may say the Bay Area, but whatever the case may be, Portland is the spot to be if you're trying to do all things beer in the matter of time so going off on a tangent but i'm over here at culmination brewing northeast portland and here is obscured by clouds and this is cloudy extremely cloudy you know i've had three ipas already i go in there and the gal was like oh you're really intrigued or you really like our ipas whatever she said i I mean i was listening to her but i wasn't taking it all in but I've had three of their IPAs. Excellent. Excellent IPAs. Now, I'm not going to go as far as to say that I would knock off Grixon, Great Notion, and Barely Brewing as a go-to IPA because they have go-to IPAs and they are my favorite breweries in Portland. But I can say, this is maybe my third time visiting Culmination Brewing. And I'm really impressed with the offerings that I received today. So with that being said, I'm going to slowly sit this one right here because this is the one that I was most intrigued with via social media and seeing pictures. This is the most this is the one I was most intrigued with. I was intrigued with this. I'm going to sit this one. I'm going to take a sip now. This has been like five minutes, 47, 48, 50 seconds. I've had it. And something telling me to go ahead and jug it, jug it, jug it, jug it. I ain't going to do it. What does it say? Do it for the gram. I ain't going to do it. Do it for the gram. I'm not going to do it. Do it for the jug. I'm not going to do it. This lady is looking at me weird. Like I'm like talking to a stranger and talking to an invisible person. But she don't see the fact that I'm actually speaking into a camera. She should expect weirdness in Portland. I mean, it's hashtag keeping Portland weird. Hashtag C H four U G creating help for underprivileged groups. Also have a new initiative that I'm brewing up. Crafted. I created the acronyms, but <laughs> you would think I would know them off the top of my head. But it's something I like recently created, maybe like a four weeks ago, if that. So it's gonna take some time for me to remember all that. But this is you heard it here first. A sports and beer podcast or a sports beer and sober thoughts podcast because most of the time all of the time i'm not impaired and when you have one drink you're impaired i don't care who you are you're impaired you're a 300 pound guy you're impaired you may pop if you blow if the police stop you um and then it's my beer for tonight 
both on Twitter. So, you know, stop doing what you're doing right now. Stop. Pause this video. Go to Twitter. Search You Heard It Here First. You Heard SBP. My Beer for Tonight. My Beer, the number four, tonight. I think it's tonight. T O night, maybe. Whatever. Anyways, cheers. God damn. God damn. This is the this is delicious. This is goddamn delicious. I'm out.